We're back to cooking school for health score. This is the plan to take back the kitchen. We're talking about foods to prepare. These are the foods I prepare every four days, making four days worth at a time. We already talked about hard boiled eggs and coincidentally, these are all foods that are gonna add to salad except overnight oats. So I add the hard boiled eggs to salad. We talked about making that. I add beans to salad. We talked about making that. Now we're gonna talk about whole grains, which we're also gonna add to salad. So I make these whole grains every four days, keep them in the Tupperware, and uh, use them throughout the week, adding them to salad each morning. People ask me what's the best whole grain or what's my favorite whole grain, and I like variety. Variety is my favorite whole grain. So I buy a cupboard full of different grains, and then I go to a different one each week. So I can't even remember how one tastes when I'm, I return to it. Um, there are dozens of, well, probably not dozens, but there's at least a dozen different whole grains you can buy in a bulk section of a good supermarket. So I have here instructions on top, and then below I have ratios of grain to water and the cooking time. So I'll show you how this works. I first will add water to instant to the instant pot. How much water I add is determined by the ratio of water to grain. I'm always going to be using one cup of grain. So if I was cooking amaranth, I'd add two cups of water. Barley would be two and a quarter cups, etc. Then I rinse off one cup or 200 grams of a dried grain in a colander over the sink. I add the grains to the pot, which now has the water in it as well, and I add a pinch of salt, placing the lid on the Instant Pot. Press pressure cook, select level to high, and then I'll set the time as indicated below. For amaranth, it would be 12 minutes, for example. Then the pressure cooker heats up and uh, completes the time allotted, and then it will release on its own if I don't do anything. And that's what you want to do. Rather than manual, manually release, just let it release naturally, the, st the pressure. Then I remove the lid, turn it off, and let it cool. Finally, I transfer the grains to a Tupperware, and then I'll be going to this Tupperware every day for the next four days when I'm making my salad. Having grains, beans, eggs on salad every day is just incredible. The fact that I have dozens of permutations of beans and grains makes it even more exciting. And grains and beans are foods that if you're waiting till you want to eat them to make them, you're too late. And uh, so prepping them in advance is key. In conclusion, this is a uh, simple recipe for any kind of grain cooked in an Instant Pot, and the suggestion is to add it to salad every day.